Hi, this is Mark Mosier with ModulateThis.com and MarkMosierMusic.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate synth parameters in the Novation Ultranova using Dummy Clips in Ableton Live. And as you can see, I've got the Ultranova hooked up via USB, and I've configured the MIDI ports to communicate with the Ultranova. And I've inserted the plugin, in this case a VST, into the MIDI track. And if you hit the Configure button, it brings up the interface for the Ultranova editor. And if you turn or touch any uh, knob or parameter in the Ultranova editor, it drops that in, into the device list for Ableton Live. In that case, you can then draw automation envelopes inside of MIDI clips. So I've created a dummy MIDI clip. And in this case, I've created a filter envelope. And I'm holding a key down on the hardware synth. And Ableton is modulating the filter via the dummy clip through the VST editor to the Ultranova. And what's really cool is the editor gives you visual feedback, like in this case I've modulated the filter balance. So you get a really good sense of what's happening with the hardware synth. And these changes are of course reflected in the hardware. See the filter amount is changing based on the automation envelope and live. And there's filter balance. And of course, since, since this is all coming through to MIDI, to the Alternova, if you change patches, all the automation data is the same, but it's affecting the patch in a different way because it's a different patch on the synth. Here's yet another patch. And the Ultranova ed editor does a really nice job updating and showing you the effect of the automation envelopes. Here I am modulating envelope 4. Here's the MIDI clip for that, or the envelope for that. 